I guarantee this move will fix your driver. Right, we're on today, we're getting rid of the slice with the driver. We're going to create an into out path, we're going to hit draws. So you have my guarantee that this move will fix your driver. So let's do it, let's fix your driver. A lot of people slice the driver, and a slice of the driver is an out to end swing path. So effectively, the club comes down and you wipe the golf ball, you wipe the side of that golf ball. So the face is open to the path, we wipe the side of the golf ball, the axis of the golf ball, so the axis of the golf ball is tilted, the ball spins round that axis, and of course the ball goes out to the right. So that's why we lose the ball to the right. That's about to be a thing of the past. I've seen this drill online before, I think Alex Elliott did something similar, and we're going to, today, advance it slightly. So we're working on path, we're working on body, but we're going to keep it so simple, it's the easiest drill in the world. You'll need five golf balls, you'll need a couple of alignment canes, you can use shafts for that, and of course you'll need your driver. Now a traditional stance for a driver, we stand with our feet nice and wide apart, it's the widest stance we have of every golf shot. So we're here, nice wide stance, because there's a lot of speed and power put into this, but not for this drill. Today I'm going to stand here, I'm going to move, hold on, just get that correct, there we go. Use the worst golf ball first. <laughs> I'm going to stand, line myself up, I'm going for the middle bunker of the three, feet together and the club, or the ball sorry, is perfectly in line with the middle of my feet. And then from there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the club back, tracing the red cane, and follow through tracing the white cane. Now if my feet are together, when my feet come together, I swing round, hit ball and round. The axis, sorry, the swing plane is tilted, and therefore when I come back, it's on that plane, and through it's on that plane, because I have to swing round a central point, and the central point, of course, is my body with my feet together. If my feet are further apart, there's lots of room for movement. It's very easy to get across and the swing plane is then tilted and we swing along that plane. But with feet together, it's very hard to do that without falling over or losing balance. Also, that chicken wing comes into play. This motion, when feet are together, that's eradicated and I can release the club correctly. So my feet are together, I swing more rotational. I come down here, I've got a shallower angle of attack, clubs closer to the ground for longer because my feet are together and I'm more central there and they continue around here so the club's lower to the ground for longer. That is very different than from there. So five balls, first ball, feet together, ball in the middle of your feet. Club behind, ball in the middle, good. From there, back, through. Not trying to kill it, just nice soft swing. There we go, back. Through. Okay, little draw on that one. I should have had the camera there for shot tracer. Let's move the camera. Second ball. Same position. So I have now committed myself to putting shot tracer on this video. <laughs> Second ball. So there was the first ball. Here. Second ball, I'm going to move my right foot, my trail foot, slightly further away. But only by about one club head width. Just a little bit more. Then I'm going to continue with the same action. So feet together, there in line, and then my right foot, my trail foot moves away by one club head distance. And then from there, same idea, just swinging round the centre of rotation, which is my body, round, round. And there we go, nice straight little shot there. Fantastic, swinging round, swinging round. Love it. Strike was really, really good. But we have to advance a little bit more. But what am I feeling when I do this? I'm feeling the release. I'm going to hit one more ball in between the five to explain the release. I'm feeling this club through impact coming down and releasing through. So I've not wiped it. As we talked about before, there's been no wipe of the golf ball. That's no release. I've released the club there. So a long right arm through impact, stretching the right arm, it's called extensive action. The right arm's flex, 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 straightening, 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 straightening to straight, but it's straight here. So actually impact, it's still flexed. There, that's club head release. I've just quickly attached the gem training aid. Just to quickly show you, if you want one of these, there's a link in the description below, you'll get a discount as well, use the promo code. But this allows you to feel the release. So if you slice the golf ball and come across and wipe it, that's impossible with the gem underneath because of the counterweight. Look, it holds the face in place. Just holding it there, comes through, holds it there. That's your release. 
which is different than this position. So there I can feel the release and of course with my feet together I've got a much better chance of feeling that. Just take that off there now. Of course as I say there's a promo code in the link below. Hit that link, get a discount, why not? So I'm going to do that ball again, feet together, one club head, there, brilliant. Round, round, adhering to the cane, just swinging round the body, round, round, little draw ball, brilliant. Next ball, ball number three, Ball number three, we move our foot slightly further apart. So now we're going two club heads, but we're also going to splay the lead foot out slightly. So I've taken my address position. I've gone one club head, two club heads. One, two club heads there. And I've splayed my lead foot out slightly. Now that's going to encourage again a little bit more rotation of the body, swinging around the axis, but still not full power, not full speed, just controlled, but keeping it really simple. So here we go. Third ball, one, Two club heads, one, two, flare that left foot out. Great, keeping it simple, swinging round. There's a little bit more speed now, but it's still not full speed. You know, you'll be surprised at the distance that gets. There's, there is a loss of distance, but not a huge amount. Ball four, three club heads apart, lead foot flailed out. Here we go, one, two, three. One, two, three, so still a very narrow stance. Lead foot trail flailed out, brilliant. Swinging round, keeping it super simple, rounded. You should feel your body turn now. You should start to feel, you should really feel the rotation of the upper body. So it turns, turns, oh my word. That is very straight ball flight. <laughs> and then the final one, we add a little bit more speed. But we're going to keep the same width of stance. So one, two, three. So same width of stance. Here's my ball. So it's one, two, three club heads. One, two, three club heads, foot flailed out. And then from there I'm feeling the body turn, body turn. Now it's a little bit faster swing on this one, a little bit more speed, because this is the one we're going to take on the golf course. So if it's 70%, this might be your go-to driver swing. This is a shot you hit on the golf course, that when things are going wrong and you've got the slice, this is how you regroup. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Still feels really narrow compared to my normal stance. Lead foot flailed out. Brilliant. Turning the body now, adding that more speed, adhering to these two canes. And this is the driver shot. Turn, turn. This is the 70% golf course swing that you'll take with you. Turn, turn. Look at that. That's not lost a great amount of distance to be fair. That is very good. So there you go. Take that on the golf course. This will fix your driver. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Click the link below for the gem. Go to my website, eurekagolfswing.com. That was good fun, I enjoyed. I enjoyed making that video. It, it kind of reset everything for me. Driver's hard. We know driver's hard and it's, well, it's easy. Easy to slice. But driver's a hard thing. Um, hardest club in the bag. Today, hopefully we've neutralized that for you, made it a little bit easier, an understanding of how the path, the body working, um, and speed, tempo. If we change things, limit things just slightly, or reduce things slightly, we're going to be much more successful. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.